Well, if by that we're referring to Colossians 1, it says that everything was made in Jesus in the past, created by God. And many of the experts say that's a causal N, not by him. That's simply not right translation because it's obviously false that everything was created by Jesus. We know that God made everything by himself and God wasn't Jesus. So Isaiah 44 steps right in there to clarify that. But back in Colossians 1 16, all things in heaven on earth were created because of him, I would translate that. All things visible, invisible, thrones and dominions, everything was created. Now, he changes the verb tense here. All things were created, meaning they stand created, have been created and are being created now. A different verb tense, that's the new creation. So the first part of 16 would refer to the original Genesis creation, where everything was made because of Jesus. The second is the new creation where everything is now being created and stands created, if you like, through Jesus in the new creation. Don't forget that Peter said Paul is difficult sometimes. So how do we deal with mm -hmm. Hebrews 1? In these yeah. last days, God has spoken to us in a son. Yes. He appointed heir of all things and through whom he created yeah. the world or the ages. the ages. Well, if this is a human being we're talking yeah. about, you know, well, obviously, this? because we know from all the other texts that he is human and God did not speak in Jesus in times past. He spoke through the prophets. But these, in these last days, these final days, he's spoken to us in a son. That means the son began in these last days. And he appointed this son, Messiah, to be heir of all things. And through whom God arranged all the ages of time. Not exactly the world there, not the cosmos, but the eonas, the ages of time and everything that happens in them. He had all of that in mind before the foundation of the world. See, people, when you mm. read this, obviously, Anthony, yeah, especially with our sort of Western sensibilities, mm -hmm. you know, we'll immediately go to the past and say, yes. well, how is this possible? God is creating through a human being. So, you know, that's where our minds go. Well, that, it does. That's exactly right, Carlos. The problem is, is, is the ignorance of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. You want to start at the beginning. In any book, you start at the beginning. You don't start with Paul. You don't start with John. You start with Matthew and Mark and Luke, particularly Luke, who wrote more of the New Testament than anybody else, if you accept Hebrews, a massive testimony to the Christian faith, Luke, who expressly says, I mean expressly says in Luke one thirty two, because of the miracle in Mary, that's why he's the son of God. You have to believe it. If you don't believe it, God says, all right, you want to be confused? Now I'll let you... I'll let you be confused, go somewhere else and get confused. No need for that. If you fasten in strongly to the synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, start there. Start with the Old Testament prophecies also.